Hey you guys, it's Nicole and I am here with the answers to your questions and I feel like I've recorded this video quite a few times. Um, it's taken me a couple tries. I started recording earlier, like a couple days ago, and my camera, like the camera I'm recording on now, it ran out of memory because I had only a two gigabyte memory card in there. I, get, I ran out of memory when I was recording and then so I deleted a, like everything off of my camera hoping that I was going to have enough memory and I tried recording again and then my camera died and then I was like okay I'm going to charge my camera and then I'll try recording again. So I tried recording again and, and I still didn't have enough memory on my camera to record a full video so um, I just like started recording and then I went to Walmart and got myself a 16 gigabyte memory card for my camera so that I won't run out of memory. So um, yeah, now we're ready to go. So I'm just going to jump right into the questions and we're just going to get started because this has been long awaited. When you go in and you get an application, fill it out there, you know, and then, you know, it shows them that you have the initiative to, you know, that you really want to work. Be yourself. The hardest part is getting the job, you know. I know it's, like, hard because, like, you know, you fill out so many applications, you know, and I've never actually gotten any calls from online applications. That's why I like on-hand applications because you can actually go in and be like, hi, you know, like, I want to turn in an application and... You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, you might even get the chance to talk to one of the managers. So this, I, oh my gosh, I got so many questions like this. And yes, we are planning on getting married. Um, we haven't actually set a date or gotten engaged or anything like that. But it is a for sure thing, like, that we definitely do plan on getting married one day. Aaliyah just woke up from her nap. She's up from her nap and she's eaten over there. Like she has really shown an interest in chicken nuggets lately. That is one thing that she has really loved lately. She calls it her little her nuggets. Like a one nugget, one nugget. You eat nuggets? The yum? Yeah, yummy. Alrighty. So I know that you guys have seen a couple little you know, clips saying that Aaliyah went pee pee in the potty, but she is not completely potty trained yet. Um, she has only gone potty in the to in her potty, her big girl potty by, you know, by herself like only a handful of times. But um, so she's not completely potty trained yet. We've gotten her little underwears, so this is also going to be kind of like answering how is potty training going because that's the next question. But. Uh, we got in her little underwears um, that she sometimes wears around the house. She honestly doesn't wear them as much as I'd like her to, but it's only because I only bought her one package of underwear and she goes through them so fast. You know, she pees in them so much that I soon run out of underwear before I can wash them again. Uh, you know, when she goes pee in her panties, then she is way more uncomfortable. So she actually is like, ah, you know, she's all upset about it. And then I like, you know, rush her over to the toilet. And of course she's crying, ah. It's like it's okay it's okay like don't be upset it's okay it happens just go potty in the big girl toilet you, you go potty in your toilet and that will happen I keep also forgetting because I've recorded this video so many times like what I've mentioned before and what I haven't because I've talked about this so many times so I'm just like um did I mention that yet like I would check her every 30 minutes you know with her underwears and stuff like we would ask her to see if she had to go to the potty every 30 minutes but um, I've started, I've shortened that time, so now it's every 10 minutes when she's wearing her underwears, then I'll check her every 10 minutes and see if she has to go potty. Um, I feel like, you know, until she really gets the hang of it, that's gonna work better for us. We should really be doing it with her diaper on anyways, too, but we've just been a little bit, um, not as, uh, uh, strict about it as we should be. Just, like, a lot more consistent is the word I should use, not strict, but, uh, more consistent with the potty training. I want to get her a little potty training book now that she is old enough for like the books and stuff you know like she loves books and um yeah I want to get her the little Elmo potty training book um see how that works see how she likes that sorry also for my shirt I know like it's falling apart but um yeah it's kind of a lazy day today so <laughs> so the last you guys heard this really bothering me now <laughs> the last you guys heard um 
me and my mom, like, we got in a fight, you know, like, around Christmas time. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail of why we were fighting. I'm just going to say that it really had to do with the way that, you know, like, she treats my brother. It's just, like, more so the way he gets treated, you know, like, I just, you know, like, we got in a lot of fights over, about that, you know, so that's, like, what we were fighting about, and, um, like, she's just really, really protective over him, and I just had some, you know, opinions that, like, I would let her know, and just the way that we handled it, you know, towards each other just wasn't good, so, um, yeah, we, uh, we are perfectly fine now. We kind of just, like, decided not to talk about it, you know? Like, we just decided not to go there, not to discuss that situation, that certain uh, subject, because we both just, you know, get really huffy and puffy over it. So, we're good now. Me and my mom are totally fine. The family's all good. That's a good question. So, Sean and I have talked about it. I have the implant on, the birth control. A little stick in my arm so I don't know if you oh yeah you can see that that's gross and it's been about a year since I've had it so I still have two more years to go so I definitely don't think we'll be having a baby um, anytime within the year or anything like that it'll probably be like maybe a year like probably two years at the least um, until we have another baby I don't know why I'm sitting here poking my arm sorry it'll probably be like another two years uh, until we have another baby. I definitely do have baby fever. I definitely want another baby. I never thought I would say this, but I do miss pregnancy, you know, but I definitely also have learned my lesson. Like, I don't want to struggle. I want to be in a good spot. I want to have our own place. I want us both to have our own cars, you know, like, I want, you know, to be stable and feel like I'll be okay if I bring another child into this world. I don't want to struggle. Like, I do not want to do that again, you know? Like, and not that, like, I ever went without, you know, with Aaliyah because I had my mom there, but especially when we moved to Oregon, like, I, I'm not going to have my mom there to, you know, take care of me and Aaliyah if I can't, you know? No, I do not have any new piercings or tattoos. Um, I still have my lip pierced, but I can't wear it at work, so I haven't been wearing it. I usually wear it on my days off, but sometimes I forget. I do plan on getting a tattoo um, sometime, hopefully soon, but I just I haven't been able to afford it yet. So hopefully I'll be able to afford it soon, and I'll be able to go get a new tattoo, but uh, or a tattoo. But um, yeah, that'll be fun. No, Aaliyah has no idea who Dallas even is. To, as far as Aaliyah knows, Sean is her birth father. She doesn't know anything else. The last time she's seen Dallas was when she was five months old. So she does not ask about Dallas. She doesn't know him. She has no idea who Dallas even is, which is perfectly fine with me. So I know this question was kind of similar to the baby number two question, but um, I kind of figured that I would just, uh, you know, go into a little bit more in depth, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, I'm definitely, I feel like two would be a good number, but I think, I think three is going to be mine and Sean's number is three kids. I don't know about four. That might be a possibility. I don't know. It really depends on where we are in our lives um, when that time comes around, but I think that three children would be a good number for us because, you know, we have Aaliyah, which is obviously mine and Sean's, you know, little baby, and, you know, she's the baby, you know, not the baby, but, you know, like, she's, you know, the firstborn, and then obviously then we'll have, you know, our, our first, mine and Sean's first child, and then um, he wants to have another child after that, which I'm totally cool with, and, you know, so I think, I think three, you know, Aaliyah and then two other children, you know, so... I don't know. That's what I'm thinking right now, but I don't know. Things could change. <laughs> um, Sean, he wants to open up his own business. So, I, you guys have heard me say before that he wants to open up his own business, but I'm not going to go into too much detail on his business because I know that he told me he doesn't want me to like give away his ideas or anything, but I will say it does have to do with Airsoft and, um, you know, an Airsoft arena. I pretty much just gave it away. You want to see Aaliyah? Why don't you tell YouTube what you would like to do job-wise? Well, what I want to do job-wise, if I had it my way, um... Move your head. I, I really, since I was uh, in middle school, I've been uh, into airsoft guns and all that. 
So I really want to start like my own business with that. Have like an outdoor um, arena, like how they do with paintball, and yeah, and then have like an in store where you could buy, sell, or trade airsoft guns or accessories or whatnot. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Uh, I think he's scumbag. Uh, I haven't personally met the guy, but hearing from uh, multiple people, though, he doesn't seem like a very honest, respectable character. So I can't really say that I respect him myself. Oh, it's really windy outside, and a branch just hit our window. Whoa! Oh my god. So a lot of you guys know, but for those of you who don't know, I wasn't making videos because my laptop that I upload and edit videos on was broken. And I usually can find a way around it whenever something, like, you know, whenever I have technical difficulties. But this time there was no way for me to, you know, find a way around it. Because usually it's like my camera or something that is having technical difficulties, but my laptop was straight up broken, you know, the screen, like, I couldn't see it, and, you know, first, like, after the screen broke, I was using a cord to, like, um, you know, see the screen on my TV, but then that stopped working, and after that stopped working, I was screwed. I had nothing else that I could do, so I was like, oh my god, you know, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, so, like, for the longest time, I just, like, you know, couldn't upload videos, and I was hoping that something would happen, you know, to where I could upload videos, but it just, like, never worked out for me so um yeah for five months i you know didn't have a laptop and then my mom finally you know was like hey i'll i'll pay for the screen you know to get your laptop fixed and um she ordered the screen online and uh because like it was going to be so expensive to do it in the shop you know to just have it like fixed in the shop so uh she just um ordered it online and then she fixed it uh, herself so that was really freaking awesome her and Sean fixed it and then surprised me when I got off of work yeah I ended up paying her back but that was really freaking nice of my mom to do that for me so it's all thanks to my mom that my laptop was fixed and I'm able to come back to YouTube so everyone give a big thumbs up to my mom for helping me out get back helping me get back on YouTube so I pretty much already answered this question but I did want to acknowledge everyone who pretty much asked the question when Pretty much after we're stable, you know, we're financially stable, we really don't have a set, you know, we really are not about like scheduling like, oh, I want to get married this time, I want to have a kid this time, I want to have another kid after this time. It's pretty much, you know, like we want to have, you know, kids and, you know, get married when it's best suitable for us because we have our entire lives together, Shawnee Kins and I, I, I plan on being with him for the rest of my life. There's no doubt in my mind, you know, that we're going to be together forever, you know, I love him so much and... I, you know, we have all the time in the world to get married, to have children, you know, we're just trying to get ourselves situated and stable and golden so that we can do those things, but, um, yeah, we're not in any rush to, you know, have kids or get married. You said, sorry if that's too personal, I just want you to know that's not too personal, so I just put a little side note on my notes to make sure I mentioned to you that that wasn't too personal and you're all good. Um, yeah, so I'm on the Implanon, which is the little stick that they put in your arm, like I mentioned earlier. They put this little stick in your arm and it wasn't too bad, it just like the scariest part when they did it was because like the lady asked me, she's like, oh have you ever, you know, had a, you know, a numbing shot before because they put, you know, they give you a numbing shot and then they um, stick like, you know, the needle in there or whatever and it shoots this like plastic stick thingy in there and it's like bendable and stuff. Yeah, she's like, have you ever had a numbing shot before? I was like, no, and then uh, like, she's like, okay, look at the door. I was like why I was like really nervous you know like uh, but like it, it wasn't bad at all you know I got this and it lasts for three years and had it for about a year um, it's pretty all right um, I don't want to say that I like it but I don't want to say I don't like it because you know sometimes it has its good moments sometimes it you know sucks because the one main downfall for me is since I've had this I have seriously like it's like non-stop I've been on my period 
Um, for in the beginning, I remember complaining about like headaches and like very bad stomach cramps. I didn't have an appetite whatsoever, so I lost a lot of weight. My appetite has come back. I'm still, you know, like, you know, there are certain things that, you know, there are certain days where I feel, you know, like, like my appetite's just shot, you know. It's mainly like when I'm on my period that I don't have an appetite, which is like pretty much all the time. I'm usually on my period more so than not. So I already answered, Aaliyah does not know Dallas and he and she does not know that he is her birth father. Aaliyah has no idea who Dallas is, which is just the way I like it. You know, like he is no part of her life. What's up with school? So I am going to be completely, completely honest. And I have told you guys so many times that I was planning on going to school and all that. And then, you know, but pretty much like my plan was to go to school. I was looking into Colorado State University, you know, or no, 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 sorry, not that. It was Bell Ray. It was Bell Ray that I was looking into at, in Colorado. So, um, yeah, like I, you know, I really, really, really was super serious about going to school and I told you guys that I was like super serious about it and I was, I really was serious about going to school, but I have completely gone off track, you know, with the whole school thing. Ever since I got hired at Taco Bell, it's like Taco Bell has pre com pretty much completely taken over my life. So, um, I'm just, I work all the time. I wasn't expecting when I started working at Taco Bell that they were going to put me on closing shifts. Like, I was really hoping they weren't. So I was hoping that I might be able to do, you know, uh, school, which I'm sure I could still do school, but with the whole moving thing, like, now it's just, like, all, like, in the air again, where it's just, like, I want to go to school, but I kind of want to have, like, a stable, like, I know what's going on before I commit myself to school, you know, like, because... We're going, we might be going to Oregon. I'm almost talking about going back to Nevada. So if we didn't go to Oregon, I would definitely want to go to Nevada. So um, I'm pretty much just kind of like waiting to see what happens right now. And then once I'm more stable and have like, you know, a set idea of what's going on in my life, then that's when I'm probably going to get serious about going back and going to school again. But I still have yet to go to school. I still haven't done that yet. For those of you who don't know, so I'm just going to give you a very quick summary of, you know, everything that you guys know about my twin sister, you know, from the beginning. So, I have a twin sister. Her name is Maggie. Um, she is, she was bisexual. Now she is a lesbian. She's just completely lesbian, which is, you know, totally fine. When I first started recording videos and I was dating Dallas and, you know, Maggie was in rehab and I really wanted, you know, her to get out and I wanted her to be sober and I wanted us to, you know, be happy and, you know, like, uh, you know, pretty much like raise Aaliyah together because I kind of had an idea that Dallas wasn't going to be there, you know, for very long, even though I really wanted him to be. But, um, in the beginning, Maggie, you know, like, uh, she was using meth with Dallas and she was doing a lot of drugs and she just was not in the right spot. She was, you know, like, it was just really, really bad. I was super heartbroken about it all the time and I was just, like, really, really, like, depressed all the fucking time because, you know, my sister, my twin sister, who has been my partner in crime my entire life, you know, like, she all of a sudden is betraying me to go use drugs, meth, of all things, you know, with my daughter's, my daughter's dad, you know, which I was pregnant with Aaliyah at the time, didn't even know, like, if she was a boy or a girl yet, but, um, yeah, so, but even after we found out that Aaliyah was a girl, I was hoping it was going to make it more, uh, real for Dallas and Maggie, but they still continued to use meth, they still continued to lie about it. Dallas was, you know, like, telling me that he was changing and all this, that he loved me, blah, 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 you know, all this stuff. And, but I still, you know, I didn't, you know, know if I wanted to be with him because not only did he cheat on me, but he was also, you know, using meth. And I didn't, you know, he was telling me that he wasn't using meth, but I didn't believe him, you know. So he would be telling me that, you know, like he's, you know, sober and that he's, you know, not using and that he loves me and all this stuff. And then he'd be turning around going and using meth with Maggie and telling her the same exact thing. Oh, you're so beautiful and I wish I would have never gotten Nicole pregnant and then maybe we could have, you know, been been together and stuff. And like, you know, it's just like 
like that was what was going on back then and um like they never slept together or anything like that they never did anything i'm sure if maggie would have let him then he would have i know for sure that he he probably would have you know slept with my twin sister while i was pregnant if she would have freaking let him later on down the road um maggie went to jail um she like she was in jail and that's when she like you know like she was in the court courtroom and stuff on video and like I was in the room and stuff like in the courtroom and I was like big and pregnant and stuff and that's when she like admitted to like the judge and stuff that she was doing meth with Dallas and all that stuff and I was just so sad and you know crying and stuff and you know like that like she was in jail for like a long time and then she got out of jail and then that's when she got sober and um, for that time you know because Maggie's been you know in and out of drugs for a, a long time but um she got sober for a long time, like this was like the longest period that she's been sober since, you know, now, but uh, yeah, she was sober for a really long time and she was there for me for the rest of my pregnancy and then for the first, uh, you know, like, I want to say month or two of Aaliyah's life, you know, like she was there. And then, you know, she got back into drugs, started, you know, hanging out with Dallas again. Oh yeah, and then, uh, yeah, after she, you know, started hanging out with Dallas and like Aaliyah, uh, was probably about like four months old. I think Aaliyah was four months old when uh, Dallas and I got back together. And then um, we were together for about a month <laughs> and then we broke up again and that's the last time that I ever saw him was when Aaliyah was five months old. Like that, like for a long time, me and my sister didn't have anything good, you know, going on. Like it was all bad juju and stuff and then like, uh, she was in and out of jail, 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 in and out of drugs, in and out of drugs, you know, just like, it was like really crazy and stressful, so eventually I just kind of became numb to it, I just, you know, stopped caring, was just like, whatever, dude, and then like this last time that she came out of jail, like, uh, like, uh, well, before she went into jail this last time, you know, she was doing good. Like, she, seriously, like, she came home because for a long time she wasn't living with us again, and she, uh, moved back in and now she's actually doing really good she's stayed away from drugs she's not doing meth anymore she's completely cut off the people that um were doing meth or that she was doing meth with um as far as i know she doesn't hang out with dallas anymore uh she might see him occasionally but she doesn't you know hang out with him or pretend to be his friend you know everything's good now everything that i just told you you know like that was just like a background you know like just a background story of what's happened you know like for those of you who are new and haven't seen those videos you know like or updates or anything like that like that's just what happened you know that you haven't seen and that's kind of like where me and Maggie came from like with our relationship now we're totally like at a good place now like we you know get along we never fight ever pretty much you know and um you know she's an amazing aunt you know like it, it's all good now so it's it's all good now so um it is kind of a good thing that i'm a slacker because um there is a lot that's happened that i can update you guys now on with these questions and stuff like that so um do you have a job yes i do have a job i work full time at taco bell um do you have a car uh okay so i did not have a car we have a car you know but it's um just like a little piece of shit honda um, and so, I, I mean, we're very thankful for it. We bought it from my friend for $300, but, um, so it wasn't expensive at all, but, um, yeah. So that's our car. I still have my tax money saved, and I was saving and saving my tax money because I really needed a car. So, uh, just a couple days ago, I went out and I bought myself a car, and I was so excited and so proud of myself because, seriously, I, I paid $1,300 for um, this car. It's a 2003 Ford Taurus, and I named her Tori, like T-A-U-R-I, like Taurus, but Tori. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of creative. To answer your next question, I do not have a license, so I have not been driving her out on the roads, but um, that's my next step is to go get my license but I am so excited and I hope you guys are excited for me because uh, I this is my first car that I've actually bought in with my own money and paid off with my own money so I'm really excited and I feel really good about myself so um, yeah I do have a car now <laughs> I don't know like I want a job that I love I don't want to work with food I want to work with animals I want to be stepping I want to be at least heading in the right direction towards our careers like I want to be at least like 
like on the path you know like I want us to be like in the direction of success by by the time I am 22 years old I want to be able to say that I am you know starting up my own business I have you know a four-year-old you know and I want to be able to say that you know I'm engaged and that you know um in a couple you know maybe like I'm pregnant or something you know like I would love to be able to say that you know like I would love to be able to you know just really be getting things rolling by the time I'm 22. Amber's family of four would also like to know if I'm up for a collab and I would like to tell you yes of course um, I mentioned, I do believe, I can't remember if I mentioned this in this video or one of my mess up videos, but um, I am working on a collab video right now, so it probably won't be anytime soon, but I am definitely for sure up for that, so just message me on my Facebook fan page thing, so it's Baby Johnson's Teen Mama, so just message me on there and we'll, you know, plan stuff and get that all figured out, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely up for collabs. Good question, I do not know. Hopefully soon, but I don't know. Like, whenever I get myself situated, I'll, I'll let you guys know when I start college, but I, I, I really don't know. Okay, so how is everything going for me and my family? Everything's going good. I kind of mentioned a little bit, you know, like, everything's good. We're all just working a lot. Sean's, you know, full-time nanny. I don't really have much to, like, update on about my family. Like, everything's pretty, pretty golden. Oh, my God. Gosh, Aaliyah is learning new things every day. She just blows my mind sometimes, just like with the things she says. I'm just like, how the hell did you freaking learn that? Seriously. Like, she, the other day, Sean sneezed and she's like, bless you. I'm like, what? You know? And she, she tells Sean the other day, like, I can't remember what we gave her, but we gave her something to eat. And she's eating. Oh, that's amazing. Like, what? that's good that's amazing daddy like oh my gosh where the hell are you learning these things like it's just like holy crap like every single day seriously she is learning something new the other day there's like nine legos on um the table over here and um i don't know what the I, it might have just been a coincidence but she was like nine 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 and telling sean nine nine and he looked down here oh yeah nine there you know I don't know if it was a coincidence or what but there was nine blocks on the table and she was saying nine so I, I don't know but she is just so unbelievably smart uh, pretty much just Oregon that's really the only thing um, I'm getting a little like five ten cent raise at work but that's pretty much it <laughs> oh my car you know that's exciting yeah that's pretty much it and I actually think this is one of the comments on my videos that really stuck out to me because not only are those some really freaking bomb ass questions, but the lady that uh, posted it, uh, the person that posted it was like super friendly and like said some really nice things. So that also reminds me that I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has posted, you know, very, very nice welcome back comments. Like seriously, I love every one of them and they make me feel so good. And I just like, I want to say thank you to all of you guys who are like, you know, supporting us and taking the time to write nice things on our videos and stuff. So I really appreciate it. it it's seriously that's what I live for oh Maggie's home um my ideal job would be working with animals I think I pretty much already went into detail my whole animal rescue thing like and owning my own business okay so yeah that would pretty much be my ideal job that would be awesome if I could just like work with animals and own my own animal rescue and pretty much be my own boss like Oh my god, that is my ideal job. That is what I would do. And I would want my business to be like on a bunch of like big, beautiful properties, all natural. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what I want to do. That's like what my goal is. Living situation, I don't want to be, I don't want to say I don't want to be rich, but I would be comfortable with being comfortable, <laughs> you know? Like, I just want to have, you know, enough money to where, you know, we can go out and do fun things where we can survive comfortably you know like I just like that would be ideal for me travel destination uh, we don't really have a travel destination just really like I know I've already talked plenty about Oregon <laughs> um, 
really just like pretty much like we want to like you know travel around see like what's out there and stuff like there's a bunch of different places sorry dude i'm wearing your sweatpants i can take them off you're if good you want. dude nice. we um just like pretty much like i want to anyways like go around you know like a bunch of different places and see what would work for us like what places we like what places we don't and yeah our next stop is oregon but um you know, maybe, you know, we could go check out other places, too, eventually, once we get, you know, comfortable enough with, like, money and, you know, like, all that stuff, so. Uh, education plan and relationship goals. Um, my education plan, I think I already kind of explained that, you know, like, how I, I definitely plan on going to school, but I don't really, you know, know when, but uh, I haven't really figured out, you know, like, what to go to school for. Relationship goals. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, like, what, I, I, relationship goals, I don't know, I guess really just, like, our promises to each other, you know, like, we promise to, like, stay, you know, like, faithful, we, you know, like, we promise to, you know, communicate with each other, we're always, you know, honest with each other, we never lie to each other, you know, to hide our ass or anything, you know, like, we're very, very honest with each other. I don't know, I guess our goals would just be to keep doing that, keep things good between the two of us, to always be understanding of each other, not judge each other. I like to do YouTube videos, sometimes I like to play computer games, I like uh, the game Sims 3, well actually sorry, Sims 4 now. Um, I like Zoo Tycoon and um, I like Spore. So those are the the games that I've kind of like obsessed over in the past, you know, couple months. But when I have the time, I do like to read because that's the next question. Um, I, so I really do like to read. If I had more time, I would read all the time. But um, I really like, you know, like the Vampire Academy books, House of Night. Um, uh, la, 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 la. I don't know, I used to read a lot of different series, but those are really like... Um, the Immortals series, like those are the top three series that I've um, been reading recently. Um, other than Smiley Face and Cry Baby, oh, you have work today? Oh yeah. Ooh, the the Planet of the, the Last Planet of the Apes, where yeah, like where Caesar talked and stuff. You know, he's like, no. Uh, Project Almanac was a good one. I don't know. I don't really have favorite movies. I don't really feel like I stay upbeat, you know? I try to, so if you guys feel like I stay upbeat during the hard times, that's freaking fantastic. Mainly, like, what happens when I get really down and, like, really, like, down in the dumps and stuff is, like, I'll get really depressed if things aren't working out. Like, if I'm just not happy with the way things are, I'll get really sad and I'll get really upset and I'll sit there and I'll think 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 about, like, what I'm upset about and what's making me unhappy and then I'll think and I'll think and I'll think about what I have to do to change it and what are so what is something that I can do to make it different and that's what I did you know when I was unhappy at the real theater like everything like anything that like happens you know where I'm just like super unhappy with my life I think about what I have to do to change it so I don't know like I guess I just like you know keep in mind that you know there's more to life than just like you know the small things you know like getting upset over you know not liking your job or getting upset over you know maybe you didn't get a raise that you wanted or you know whatever you know like all the, there's these things like there's certain things in life that you can choose to get like, super upset over but if it's not going to change anything like unless you do something to change it so that's really what I focus on mostly like you know and sometimes I do like you know lose myself and just get really like upset and just over dramatic with things but I don't know Sean's always there to tell me like hey knock it off <laughs> when I'm looking back at these videos years from now then I don't want to be looking back at lies I don't want to be looking back and thinking like hmm I wonder if I was telling the truth in that video or if I was like you know or if I was just trying to you know put on a good face you know like that's not why I do YouTube videos to impress you know all you guys or whatever you know like I you know like I want you guys to enjoy my videos but I started doing videos as a hobby because I wanted something to look back on and because you know like I, I don't know I like making videos and what would be the point of making these videos and going so far with it if I'm just gonna lie and not be myself I wish I would have graduated high school 
That's something that I think about a lot. And I, I really wish that I would have just stuck it out, you know, during my pregnancy and during all the hard times with Dallas and stuff. Like, I wish that I would have just freaking graduated high school because even though, like, it's not, it hasn't really, like, held me back or anything, I still wish I would have had that experience, you know? Because it kind of, like, it does, you know? It really kind of, like, hurts my heart when when I see, like, and I know this kind of sounds bad and selfish, but it hurts my heart to see people I went to elementary school with and high school with, you know, and all these people that I went to school with, you know, with pictures of them and their, like, graduation caps and graduating and stuff and knowing that I will never get to experience that. That's why I really, really want to go to college because I want to at least say that I did something, you know, and, like, be able to have that under my belt because I already didn't graduate high school, so I, I really really want to go to college and I want to have something you know under my belt I want to be worth something I want to have you know like something that says you know like I worked for this and I you know bust my butt for this and because of this now I can go do this and make more money you know like I want to be worth something I feel really really passionate about like that you know I don't want to go through this life not doing anything with my life you know, especially since I'm getting older and I'm just realizing, like, how fast time really goes, you know? Like, I'm 20 years old. I'm not even a kid anymore. Like, it's just like, holy crap, dude, time goes by so fast and I'm just... I need to do something with my life. I really do. I totally am all for same-sex marriage. I don't get what the big deal is. Like, I seriously, for the longest time, I didn't even realize it was illegal for the same-sex marriage to get married. Like, seriously, like, that is so stupid. Sean is a full-time nanny. He babysits Aaliyah all the time when I'm at work, and um, he loves it. Now, Sean would really like to work right now. He really does want to have a job, but um, right now what works for us is him, you know, watching Aaliyah, so um, I don't have to pay for daycare. You know, Sean's here to watch Aaliyah. How often do you guys see each other? Do you have more paranormal experiences you want to share?